Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Don, I'm a general surgery resident and today I wanted to go over a few recommendations for books to use during your clerkship rotation. During my time as a student on surgery, I went through a lot of textbooks to look for the best ones and I believe that these are the ones that stand out. So this is not an in-depth review of the different books and this is also my personal opinion. So keep that in mind and do your own research before purchasing any book. The first book I would recommend without any doubt and that I think is a must is Surgical Recall by Lauren Blackburn. This is a small book that you can almost carry around with you during your rotation and it's made in a very high yield question and answer format. The first section is on general surgical concepts, perioperative management, and also a bit of ward management. The second section of the book is all general surgery and the third part of the book is a lot of subspecialty surgeries such as neurosurgery, pediatric surgery, orthopedics and urology. This is probably the favorite book for students because it's very good for answering pimping questions or when the attending surgeon is asking you something directly. The night before going to the operating room when you know what the cases are going to be, if you prepare by just reading the sections in this book, you'll be well prepared to answer most of the questions you'll be asked as a student. The information contained inside this book is extremely valuable and it's a favorite among students and it's also pretty well priced. The next book I would recommend to a student on surgery is the Mont Reed Surgical Handbook by the University of Cincinnati Surgical Residents. They just came out with a new edition and it's a very pretty book. My favorite thing about this book is the way the information is organized in bullet points throughout the book. Any information is very easy to find. Again, this book covers a lot more general surgery concepts and diseases rather than the subspecialties but the information given in this book is perfectly at the level of a student. One thing to note is that it's not really an anatomy book. So if you're looking to learn the anatomy and the steps of a procedure, you won't really find it in this book. I was using this book more when I was seeing new consults and new diseases that I hadn't seen yet and that I wanted to make sure that I understood it well fast. One very nice thing about this handbook compared to Surgical Recall is that Mont Reed actually has an app any PDF that is included in the hard copy version. Combined with the bullet point format, the information is very readily available for you. So coming in at number two, it's the Mont Reed Surgical Handbook. The next book that I did use a lot in medical school was Abernathy's Surgical Secrets. I would recommend this book because of the question and answer format and the vocabulary they use for the explanations makes it quite an easy and enjoyable read. Each chapter is only covered in two to three pages in the most high yield topics. Again, there's no anatomy in this book, but I found this to be a nice supplementary reading to the other books I suggested. So unless you know for a fact that you're going to go into surgery later, I would not recommend buying one of the major textbooks such as Saviston, Schwartz's or Cameron because those books are huge. They go into a lot of detail, a lot of which is not necessary as a medical student. Instead, if you like the textbook style and you do want to go into a bit more basic science concepts of surgeries, I would recommend the surgical review. It doesn't go into as much depth, but it does cover the topics in the same way the major textbooks do cover it. So using basic clinical science and then using a bit of anatomy clinical concepts and treatment options. I'm actually using it now for my first year of residency and I find that it is the perfect level of knowledge that I want to gain at this time. It's clear to me that this is not for senior residency and more advanced concepts, but right now to cover all the different topics uh, that I'm going to see in my first and second year, this book actually works quite well. And so there you have it. These are the books that I found helped me the most during my surgery clerkship. Obviously, there's a ton more books you can get out there and a lot of detail you can get into. But with a limited budget and limited amount of time, I found that these books were the, my go-to's. So I really hope that this video was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!